Welcome back everyone, Mike and Melissa here this evening. It is another beautiful day here, isn't it? It is. We have had such a run of uh, good weather. I was thinking today, uh, I think this summer is going to be a pretty good summer. Uh, the last couple years we had so much rain, huh? It was just wet and cold all the time. And it just seems like this summer is kind of shaping up to be like what the summers used to be like. But we'll see. And I say that and it may rain for a month or something. But right now, um, Melissa's going to do some mowing for the first time on a BX23S. She did run it for about five minutes before, uh, but she's going to get familiarized with it. And you're going to take the loader off, right? Yeah. We're going to take the loader off for the first time, and we'll do some mowing and uh, see how it goes. But this is the BX23S with the 60-inch mower deck on it. She's not a fan of uh, zero turn mowers. These are my notes. Yeah, she figured it all out, read everything on how to take the loader off. So she's gonna kind of just do it herself. That way when I'm at work or whatever, if she wants to mow, uh, she can just pop the loader off and go mow and come back and put it back on, so. Put on the backhoe and you know, dig a big hole. Dig a big hole. <laughs> all right, well, you ready to get started? Yep. It's gonna get dark soon, so. Okay. All right, so Melissa has her uh, notes there. What's the first step? Start the tractor and bump up the RPMs. Then what's after that? Lift the loader and roll the bucket under. All right, let's do that. You are almost completely unhooked already. And yeah, the, um... they say you can do it all from the seat, so just stay on the seat. Okay, this little red knob, you pull it there. Yep. Just a, I think you just pick this up. And then... Just wiggle it a little. Probably side to side. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice job. And you see those holes there? Yeah, it just sits like that. All right, all you gotta do is put the little, uh, caps, little on. caps on. But I'm telling you, there's some serious engineering goes on right there. You know that? That is slick. They call that the uh, swift hatch. All right. You're good to go. Now back straight up and you're ready to mount. All right. So that, that was the first time either of us had taken that loader off. That's pretty slick. That is. What are your thoughts? Um, it's easier than trying to redo the all the wires behind your TV, cable box, yeah. DVD, <laughs> yeah. DVR, but, I mean, you, Wi-Fi. You, you yeah. have no problem doing that if I'm not here. Well, yeah, I think I'm... I enjoy your... Wait! Do you know what you're doing? So I'll miss that. So I'll wait till you're here. Hey Hunter. How's it going? All right, do you want to uh, try this mower out now? Yes, let's go. Maybe we'll start in this section of the yard right over here. Right here? Yeah. Okay. Let's go over the uh, controls on the mower and okay. then uh, we'll get started. All right. Okay, so we have this set at two and a half. 
And here to my right, this will raise and lower the deck. And then how do you engage the PTO? Over here. Yeah, that's... Set at mid-mount. Right. And then this one. Yeah, that'll engage the PTO and you'll be cutting. Yep. All right. Now, I have the uh, anti-scalp wheels adjusted right, I think. You don't want them riding on the ground. They're for anti-scalp. In case you hit something, it'll ride up over it. But uh, I think it's ready to go. Put your seatbelt on, and uh, we'll get cut and see how you like it. Well, you're smiling from ear to ear. What do you think? I love it. Pretty nice, huh? Yeah. Did where'd you have the RPMs up? Up where it says on the. Uh... Yeah, the PTO is between three and three and a half. Yeah, and it didn't. Uh, it sounded quiet. It didn't sound like it was really. Yeah. What do you think? Um. First impressions. Well, everyone should know by now that Mike Morgan loves to cut grass as much as he loves to stack firewood. So I've had very limited cutting grass in our marriage and we'll be married 30 years. But as a teenager, I cut a lot of grass. I cut neighbor's grass, I cut our grass. My dad had a gravely for anyone out oh, there yeah. that knows. So the seat was just like a uh, sulky seat for yeah. sulky horses. Like it connected to the gravely and you had like two handlebars my dad showed me a couple passes and he's like, okay, you're on your own. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So you'd take the handle and push it out and your other handle's out there to make a turn. <laughs> so it brought back memories and I realized that a lot of the turns, I'm, I'm getting used to it, so I'm missing some stuff. So I have some practice to do on a riding mower or a riding tractor like this, but it brought back memories of my teenage years of cutting grass. I have to say, everything that uh, you, know, you guys see on this channel 
Melissa is a real trooper. You know what I mean? Like some of the things, she's always helped with firewood and doing stuff around here. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of new things for her and she does not hesitate one bit. She yeah. learns, figures stuff out. I told her earlier we we're going to put the, uh, take the loader off the, the, you know, the tractor. And she, I look and she's got notes taken. She did some research. She knew how to do that. Yeah. But she doesn't shy away from a challenge, that's for sure. And you know what I want to say, with Father's Day being right around the corner, Mike has been a great father and teacher to our kids. And I have to give a shout out to my dad. He was a great father. I think back, like I just shared that story of teenage, he would show us something as kids and have complete confidence in us and walk away. And I'm like, do you realize what might happen here? But I'm like, okay, okay, I'm gonna do exactly what he showed me. And uh, I was safe, but um, yeah, it just made me feel good as a teenager growing up and being a mother and, and Mike being a great father, I think that's exactly it. Show your kids the safety, how to do it properly and have confidence in them and it helps build their confidence. So Melissa mentioned her dad uh, the other day. What was he laughing about so hard? I thought something bad was happening. She had him on speakerphone, and I thought he's having trouble breathing or something. And I mean, he was wheezing and making this racket. What? We laughed so hard. And it what was, was that about? Such a good time about the tick. He said he got a he tick had a bite. Tick a, yeah, a, he found a tick. He said he called it a tick attack. <laughs> it sounded like a tic tac. Oh my goodness! Just him telling the story, we laughed so and hard. And she said something funny, and he started laughing, and uh, he he about lost control. Yeah, he did. And, and Mike's in the room going, "Is he okay? Do you yeah. think he's okay?" I'm like, "Dad," he's like <laughs> laughing so hard. And those are just good times, good memories. Yeah, Love it. there's something else he's gonna mention. So you're talking about teaching your kids stuff. Yeah. Uh, it is different, though. It is. I mean, stuff that I did as a child and that I know you did, parents just don't do that today. And I'm not saying it's all bad, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, there's a balance there, I yeah. guess you should say, you know what I mean? Like when I was 12, hey, there's a chainsaw, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it seems that we just wait a little bit later now. I don't know if it's good or bad. And all kids are different, you know what I mean? Some kids are hands-on types, some are a lot better at other different things. So we just tried to find out what our kids were we're already good at and then would help right. them in other areas where maybe they needed help but uh, and we grew up without technology like we have today we didn't have smartphones thank goodness because there'd yeah. be a lot of documentation of stuff we couldn't get out of yeah. i remember your dad saying when he was a kid walking to school with a gun and he'd lean oh, yeah. up against the outside of the school hunt their way to school and hunt on the way home yeah and uh boy has that changed so that was shocking for us to hear yeah. But that's what your dad did as a kid and right. then you know our kids hear stories that are like really you drove a car without having a license or you know just <laughs> yeah did that too there's there's a lot of stories that thank goodness we don't have we didn't have the technology yeah to to prove us guilty well tonight is uh friday night which is normally thai night but he spent the night last night but we're still having pizza night of course so, uh, Eva I, just I'm not mowing, Mike. I can't be running all around the kitchen making dinner. Yeah. Well, you can sit there by the fire. I'll go pick up the pizza. Sounds good. And we'll call it a night. But uh, the first yeah. real mowing on the BX23S was Love a it. success. It's if just... anyone was like on the fence, do I do it? You want my recommendation? All you women out there that watch the channel, and I know you're there. Yeah. You men have a lot of wives and girlfriends that are watching the channel. I Just love it. Don't let them take your tractor. Get her her own, is what I was going to say. Yeah. Right. We want to wish a happy 49th birthday to, to Dwayne. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Dwayne. He's 49, so I'm one year older than you. I'm a couple years older. Couple, good handful. Hey, if you like these videos, click the thumbs up. Comment down below, we'd love to hear from you. Subscribe and share them with your friends. We'll see you on the next one.